be wondering why this this type of question is in the math section but this really comes down to when you start taking samples statistics and things of that sort where when you're sampling something some results there's particular conclusions that can be drawn and there's some that cannot be drawn so let's figure out why the answer is what it is over here so the researchers over here are spending six months studying the effect of drug y on alleviating insomnia Okay, and it's saying from a population of people with insomnia, 420 participants were selected at random. All right, so there's a random selection of 420 people. But look at this. This is kind of important over here. From a population of people with insomnia. So when they're selecting people, they're selecting people with insomnia, and that'll play a role later. So we're only testing this drug on people who have insomnia. Half of those people were given the drug Y and other half did not receive the drug Y, okay? The resulting data show that people who did receive drug Y had significantly improved sleep as compared to those who did not receive drug Y. So that tells me that, hey, this drug did work. This drug did work on the people it was tested on, and who was it tested on? It was tested on half of the people uh, out of 420, and initially all of them did have insomnia. So what's the best conclusion I can draw from that? Treatment Y is likely to improve the sleep of people with insomnia. All right, sounds relatively reasonable. Um, I'm pretty sure that is the answer. So let me go through B, C, and D, and I'll try to explain to you why uh, B, C, and D are wrong. So treatment wise, the best treatment for insomnia up until this point. Try to avoid extreme wording such as best treatment. Maybe there are some other ones that are better. Nowhere in this problem does it tell me this is the best treatment up until the up until this point. There could be some other treatments that don't talk about in this problem. We don't know that. So that's not necessarily a conclusion I can draw from here. Treatment C. Uh, sorry, not treatment C. Answer choice C. Treatment Y will improve the sleep of those who take it. Remember, this study, this study was done on people with insomnia. We don't know if treatment Y will improve the sleep of those who take it who don't have insomnia. So let's say you're just an average person, you take treatment Y, it might make it worse for you. We don't know that. The only thing we do know, we do know is that if you have insomnia, it'll make it better for you. And that's the difference between A and C. A is saying treatment Y is likely to improve the sleep of people who have insomnia. While C is just saying it's gonna improve the sleep of anyone. So for that reason, it's not true. Treatment Y will cause a substantially more restful sleep. I feel like C and D are saying almost the exact thing. Yeah, it could cause a substantially more restful sleep, but that's not something I can draw from this conclusion, mainly because I only tested people with insomnia. So the only people that I can draw a conclusion for is people with insomnia, and that's why D would also be wrong.